In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite plays to both beat the Blitz and beat most of the popular defenses out there, including Mabel coverage in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. If you've never been to my channel before, I do Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day here on YouTube, and I post them at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you haven't hit subscribed yet, um, research shows that only 40% of you guys are subscribed to the channel. So what I want to ask you to do right now is go ahead and click subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe on YouTube. Um, the only thing is, if you guys don't like the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. So uh, Let's jump right into today's video. And I am actually breaking this down in my text message membership this week. One of my new favorite offenses, kind of honestly one of my old favorite offenses, but it's even better this year. Um, and that is the far tight slot uh, formation. So we've been talking a little bit about this today with some of the different routes that you can do. And we're going to show you another one in today's video. But if you want to get the full far tight slots West Coast scheme, shoot me a text message. And as soon as I release that video, I will message it to you. My number is 812-216-3644. Now, what a lot of people are going to do in Madden 21 is they are going to do something like this. They're going to put their zone drops essentially in this kind of basic format. You're going to have your flats at 5, curl flats at 20, and your hook curls at 5 yards. So let's say that you're facing, you know, America's defense, which we... Uh, had a very strong hand in building uh, the nickel 335 wide. Now, I break this defense down to my 46 defensive ebook. I released the 46 ebook back in August and it has stood the test of time this season in Madden. So, if you want to get, in my opinion, the best defense in Madden, um, that link is in the description. It goes over 335, 335 wide, 46, 34 bear, big nickel over G, dollar 326, everything you need to know about everything from those different defenses. But what I want to show you right now is kind of the popular defense a lot of people are using. This is Mike Blitz 3. And this is, I broke this down in a previous video, but this is kind of what Joke was doing. Um, and the plays we're going to put, honestly, doesn't really matter. You can create this from pretty much anything in the formation, um, especially if you have a hot route master. But we're going to come out and the play X spots, my favorite play uh, from this formation. But here's what a lot of people are doing from this set. Basically, they're going to run cover 2 on the right side of the field right and basically they're going to run mabel coverage on the left side of the field so you're going to see something just like this right here and they're going to effectively use her in the middle of the field so to kind of imitate this i'm going to put him on a uh essentially you know whoever i would use her so uh, in this example we're going to use the tight end because the tight end is going to go on a post route so what you'll notice here with this play is what i really like to do is simply create a double hitch concept so i'm going to take god i'm going to put him on a hitch route and then i'm going to take uh my backs in the backfield i'm going to put both of them on little swing routes to their perspective side so the left side back's going on a swing route to the right the right side back's going on a swing route to the uh, right i'm sorry and the left side back is going on a swing route to the left I'm going to motion Godwin over, and I want to snap this ball right about here. And what you'll notice is if they're in Mabel coverage, the flats are going to pull the, the flat route to the running back is going to pull him out of the out of the vicinity, out of the play. Now, the reason that this is significant and a really, really, really important defense to understand is because what a lot of people don't realize about this is that what for them to stop this play, they're going to have to play a vert hook and a hard flat on that side of the field. So it's going to take more than just one little resource. And as you can see here, I'm just going to snap it right about here. And as you can see, the flat is going to be pulled by the little swing wrap. So what the defense is going to have to do is they're going to have to play vert hooks, right? So it might look something like this right here. And then what I'm going to do is on my backer here on the right, I'm going to put him in a vert hook. Okay, that's very popular defense as well. And maybe they'll take their user and let's just say that he's going to be on a Mabel coverage. So if they do something like that, you're going to see that they're starting to run out of resources to be able to put and cover all of these little pins and pulls um, underneath routes. But you see here, if I snap the ball right about here at the numbers, one of the things that you'll notice is that you see here this spot route. And I didn't give you a great example, but that spot route on the left side will actually get open against five yard uh, hook zones. 
So let me show you what I'm talking about really quickly. Obviously on the right side of the field, they're gonna have that bag because the, the vert hook is going to be able to do a good job. And what you can do if you wanted to is to you could occasionally mix in some different strategies um, and tactics for that type of play style. For example, um, I could take Godwin and I could motion him over and I could put him on just a simple uh, curl route. So I wait till he gets right about here, put him on a curl route right there, snap it. And what you'll see here is even if they have a vert hook, I'm going to be able to hit this route very, very easily. So I have a couple of different options um, as far as what I can do if they do this, then I do that kind of formula. So what a lot of people are going to do is they're going to go to some kind of defense like this where they're going to be clouding the underneath type of coverages. And they're not going to necessarily Mabel coverage anymore. Really, they're going to be more a little bit more of a traditional uh, style coverage. So what you'll see here is this curl route, but because those yellows are shaded at five yards, that's not going to stop that curl route. The only thing that will stop the curl route is if they have curl flats stock, meaning they don't have their zone drop set, um, which if they don't have their zone drop set, then what you can do is take advantage of this route over the middle of the field, uh, which we're going to show you in just a moment. So this route over the middle of the field is one of my favorite routes in Madden 21. Um, it's very, very difficult to guard it and it just works really really well off of what everything else that we're doing so we're dealing with Mabel coverage with one step but then we go to something like this and you'll see that this route to the tight end with a low pass is going to do a very very nice job now if you have a tight end apprentice which I do recommend either using a tight end apprentice or a uh, hot route master quarterback if you're going to be running this scheme um, to its fullest extent I think a tight end apprentice is actually very very doable uh, with the way that some of the muck cards have come out so let's say you have a tight end apprentice then I would recommend you putting him on a post route if you don't put him on a post route um, it's going to be a little bit more challenging from x spot because it doesn't come over shallow enough but you'll see here the post route goes very very shallow so as you can see, you're really putting the defender in a lot of difficult, dif a lot of difficult um, circumstances. One of the other things that you could do from this, and I just want to give you a couple of other options before we um, head out for the day. And again, if you want to get the full scheme for this offense, just shoot me a text message. As soon as I release it, I'll give it to you. But the next thing that you could do is, let's say you take Godwin and put him on a hitch on this left side. And then you motion Mike Evans across, and his route is a little bit deeper. So you see here, when I motion snap him, see how he kind of waits, and then he goes out on his route, and he's kind of in a unique area on the field. This, once again, beats Mabel coverage. Also beats man-to-man -man coverage. Those, are, those little underneath hitches are going to get underneath everything. So now you might be asking, well, okay, if it beats man and it beats Mabel, does it beat the cloud coverage, right? Does it beat something like that to the right side of the field? That's the real question. So we'll show you this real quick here. You see that I have a flat, a yellow, and a deep blue on that side of the field. And then on this back side, I'm basically relying on the cover three to take care of anything uh, to the left side. So we'll show you this again. And this is with X spot. And I just want to show this to you. Um, with this motion of Mike Evans and you're gonna snap him right about here and you'll notice that this yellow zone actually doesn't guard him which is a huge huge advantage to the offense because now the yellow zone doesn't guard him the flat zone doesn't guard him the hook curl doesn't guard him. nothing guards that route to Mike Evans so it creates a unique opportunity for your offense to be able to really put a lot of stress on the defense is even if they run Mabel coverage you see here this is a vert hook so I have a vert hook a hard flat, a curl flat, and a deep blue zone on that side of the field. And then on the back side of the field, I'm running basically a Mabel coverage, and I'm going to blitz one person, right? This is what's going to force your opponent um, to really have to start dropping everybody back into coverage. Well, when you go to something like this, once again, it gets in such a unique little pocket on the zone. You'll see right here that that vert hook does go guard that, but you see, look in the middle of the field. You have your hitch now wide open on that side. So a lot of different tools and tactics at your disposal with this, because if they Mabel one side, they're not Mabel on the other side. That's basically what that means, because you would basically have to do this right here to stop it on both sides. You would have to you would have to devote six different people to, uh, to stop the underneath route on both sides of this formation. And then this doesn't take away the fact that your tight end they're still going to have to user the tight end route on this play. So we'll show you what this looks like uh, really quickly here. 
But this is kind of the coverage that I would anticipate them having to run to stop this. But again, if you get this guy out there enough, you can throw that. And I mean, it's a tight window, but the more you get him out there, I think the more you can actually have an appropriate window to throw this. Um, so again, if you did something like this, and we want the vert hook here, so I'm going to re-hot route these guys so we get vert hooks. Hook curls will like drift away. like They will drift away like it's their job to drift away. That's just been my experience. So you really want to have a vert hook on the field. And what you'll notice here, again, is if you can get this route to Mike Evans, if you can get him, you want to snap him kind of in between, uh, in between those two guys. So like right here, this is about as far over as we can get him. But what you'll see is, okay, he's on a, see how he gets deeper? And I can high point and secure catch that because that specific route, if you snap it while he's in motion, he's going to go short. But if you snap it after he sets, he's going to go a little bit deeper and get over the top of that five yard vert hook. The reason that this is so, so, so important is because what's going to happen now is now they're going to have to basically use her that route with them, or they're going to have to man him up, or they're going to have to do something to account for how powerful um, the route is. These little underneath spacing routes really, really are. And then the beauty of this is this is going to then open up windows for you to throw this route to your fullback, or your, I'm sorry, your tight end. You see here, cross, comes across. And now there's no zone in behind there to be able to take that away. So this little play right here, it doesn't seem like much, but it can do so much damage against your opponent. Now, what if you might be asking, well, what if they just run man coverage on this? How does that work against man coverage? Well, you'll notice that it actually works fairly well against man coverage. You see here, all the routes are going to be the same. And you'll notice that this little spot route, it gets automatic underneath positioning against man-to-man -man coverage. Even if they shade underneath, you're still going to be able to get it. And the beauty of this, when you motion this over, when you motion this over like this, it creates this route to Godwin to make him stock on the line of scrimmage. And so he is also going to always have underneath inside positioning against man-to-man -man coverage. So all in all, this thing may not look like much, but it's one of my favorite plays in the game. It's going to move the ball down the field for you. Far tight slot, I think, is probably one of the top five, if not the top three, formations in Madden NFL 21. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. If you have any questions about this or if you want to pick up the full scheme, go ahead and shoot me a text message. And if you want to pick up my defensive ebook, it's on sale right now in the description. We've had a lot of people pick it up this year and a lot of people have let me know that it has really really helped them on the defensive side of the ball thanks for watching today's video let me know if you have any questions